How's it going guys? Welcome to another video and this is going to be an explanation of current and voltage and we'll throw a little resistance in there just to help out with some of this understanding. Um, so let's start with current and I'm going to use a river as this scenario just to help you guys visualize some stuff. So current is going to be the flow of electricity or the flow of charges. So we're going to think of this as the water of the river. It's actually what's flowing through the river or in the river. It is the river <laughs> and current can't exist without any voltage. Voltage in this scenario is going to be like the width of the river or the size of the river. So how big the river is and voltage, if you have no voltage or if you have no river, like the size of your river is zero meters wide, then no water can pass through it. No current can pass through it. So with no voltage, you can't have current. Now the opposite is true for voltage. You can have a voltage with no current, just as you can have a giant area dug out for a river, but no water's in it yet. So you can have huge voltage with absolutely zero current running through it. Because voltage is what drives the current, but there doesn't have to be current in it. Voltage is a difference between two points. So let's talk about the units real quick just to get this in perspective. So we measure current in what we call amps, and these are a coulomb per second. So current is a rate. It's a coulomb for every second. So how you have eight coulombs a second, 10 coulombs a second, it's a rate, how many you have per second that goes by. Voltage on the other hand is a joule per coulomb. So it's an energy per unit charge because a joule is a measure of energy. So measuring volts, a volt is a joule per coulomb. All right, now voltage is actually what will push, or you can kind of think of it as pushing the current. So if you have a really high voltage and a really small current, it'll push it through any resistance that you meet. So for an example, when you rub your feet on the carpet and you touch a doorknob, you'll feel the shock because static electricity built up in your body. That actually probably has a pretty high voltage and it can have a voltage up to 50,000 volts possibly, but the charge is so small where all you feel is a little shock and you didn't kill anyone or zap someone. Um, it's because the voltage was high enough to push through the resistance of your body. And so that's why you felt, and the, that's why the electricity, the current passed through but it was such a small amount of current that it didn't hurt anything. So the opposite is true if you have a high current and let's say a low voltage. So if you have a low voltage, but a super high current, the voltage won't be able to push that current through heavy resistance. But if it does, that current can do some serious damage. So if you think of like a car battery for a case, um, car batteries are 12 volts. So they can't, it doesn't sound like they do a lot, but they start the car. So they actually, push a pretty big amount of current through them. But if you hold it, let's say you're holding the car battery in your hands, um, depending on the situation, it is possible that your body's resistance, internal resistance will actually be too much for the voltage to push the current through. So you actually want to get shocked. Now, I don't recommend trying this because it all depends on the humidity and a bunch of other factors, but it's possible that if your body's resistance is high enough, you won't feel anything because the current can't pass through because the voltage can't push the current because the voltage is too weak. It's only 12 volts, even though the current is high. So I hope this kind of sums things up. If you want to know more, I'd be happy to make a longer video, but easy scenario, just remember, voltage is similar to the driving force. It is the width of the river. It is what is causing your current to go through. And then current is what happens. Current is the end product, the result, the effect. So current is what happens because your voltage either made it through, pushed the current along, it moved the current, it allowed the current to flow, it allowed so much current to be there, and that is pretty much it. So thanks for watching guys. If you want to leave a comment below, have any questions, or just want me to make a video that goes a little more in depth about how this stuff works, uh, please do so, and make sure to uh, subscribe if you want to see more of this, and I'll see you guys in the next one.